thing is certain over the Christmas period. That is, we are gonna become Magda from There's Something About Mary. We are all gonna have our vacuums in hand. Like, I'm just cleaning up. Give me a second. I'm just cleaning up. Our vacuums are gonna be put through their paces. There will be food on the floor. There will be pieces of wrapping paper, undoubtedly. And it is good practice right now to make sure that your vacuums are in good working order. The reason I like to do a vacuum clean is it really is going to prolong the life of your vacuum cleaner. So if you look after your vacuum cleaner, there is no reason why they can't last for years and years and years. So let's do a vacuum clean. The first thing you want to do is take the base attachment off all of your vacuums. If you're just working with one today, that's fine. I'm going to do all three of mine and you're going to remove any hair. We have so much hair pickup in this house. This is what we are dealing with. Any of the other attachments as well, just make sure that you remove them. Dunk them in some warm water with some dish soap and then go ahead and give them a good clean. I've now filled up some new fresh water. This is another really key point. When the water gets really, really grubby, make sure that you fill it up again. Go ahead and also put all of the filters in your dish soap and give them a wash too. It's absolutely fine to use within your dish soap. They are not gonna ruin the filters. The manufacturers will make you feel this way because they're in the business of you buying new filters. It's how they keep making money. Now, onto this part. If you've got any scuffs, go ahead and use the Sif Cream Cleaner. And these jute sponges I'm using here, these are from B&M, £1.25. They are ideal for this task. Now, the dustbin, if you have one, so two of my vacuums are bagged vacuums. My shark vacuum obviously is a bagless one. Go ahead and clean that out. Again, just use your dish soap, soapy water, your J cloth, give it a good clean and then you are good to go. Make sure the filters dry out overnight and if you want a burst of fragrance, you can use scent boosters or you can use a tumble dryer sheet, just tear it up into little pieces and place it either within a vacuum bag or as you'll see in a moment, your dustbin. Now it's time to reassemble your vacuums. There's Henry. He's so happy because he's just had a nice deep clean and they should look lovely and clean just in time for Christmas and they are going to work to their full potential. Thanks for watching today's vlog guys. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, as always, don't forget to click the like button. And if you are new here, why not treat yourself and go ahead and join the Haley's Help YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button and also clicking on the bell notification. What better way to go into 2023 than to follow this very cleaning account. I will see you all again next time and until then, as always, my loves, keep it clean. Love you guys, bye.